yeah, it was just, it was just too much. Like, I just couldn't reach for it. Even though it was adorable, I don't know. It just, it wasn't for me. This is probably my most used bag this year. And I think it's from around 2012 or so. Like, honestly, like, lip gloss was just flying out of it. I wore it one time and I was just like, oh, this is really annoying to wear. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Today, I want to talk about all the handbags that I've bought this year. Now, I don't know if I'm done yet, to be honest, because I said last year that I was only going to buy two bags this year and... Bam, I bought like at least eight bags. I honestly did not think I was gonna go this crazy. So I don't wanna like jinx myself and say I'm done with bags now because I just know that I'm probably gonna fall back on that promise to myself again. So who knows guys, I might not buy any more bags this year, but you know, probably not. So this is all the bags I bought this year. I was supposed to not really go this crazy. But I wanted to be open with you guys and share my experiences with these bags, what I think, do I have regrets, and so on. So let's get right into it. The first bag I bought this year, I'm pretty sure, I bought a lot of bags in like the same kind of week. It was my Telfer bag in the fluffy kind of Uggs material. This bag, do I regret buying this? Honestly, it is so cute. Um, but I think because I'm really into my Hermes bags, I haven't been reaching it for it that much. I have worn it twice. The first time I wore it just to go to the shops because I was just in my track pants and I was just like, I just need like an easy bag. Second time I wore it, I, I think I was wearing like a really fluffy, fluffy like coat on. And this looks so cute with like a fluffy jacket. And I just thought, oh my gosh, so cute, like fluffy on fluffy. So I feel like this bag, it's very wintry. It is like, you know, I bought it in the summer. So hopefully this winter in Melbourne, I'll wear it more, maybe with my fluffy jackets and that sort of thing. But my only qualm about these Telfar bags is that they are completely open bags and they kind of don't keep your stuff inside. Like stuff can fall out very easily. And I do have a lot of open bags, like for example, my Pico tin, I wear it all the time, but the way it's shut, for some reason things don't fall out because I think because it's so tall. So my stuff never falls out because it's kind of like, when you carry it, it kind of like squishes like this and it just, stuff doesn't fall out for some reason. But with bags like this that are like boxy, it's just, I don't know, the magnet it is so weak that it just, like, it just doesn't even close, guys. Like, it just, like, I don't know, it's just very, it will not close. So I find that I'm worried sometimes, like, if I'm on the go, my stuff is going to fall out. With this, it doesn't do it. I don't know why. I cannot explain that, guys. Even, like, my garden party, it's an open bag, but at least it closes. So I think that's one of the reasons why I don't grab for it as much, because... Yeah, I don't know. I find my stuff falls out. And that, for me, is a bit of an issue. So that's the first bag. Do I regret it? I'm not sure yet. I actually thought, should I sell this? Because there was a period um, a few weeks back where I sold a lot of bags. And I thought, should I sell this? Because not sure. But it is really cute. And it does look really cute with some outfits. So I'm going to keep it for now. Next bag that I bought was from Furla. And I bought this before I bought my bunny bag, which I'll get to in a sec. This one is a little echidna or like porcupine hedgehog. It's more of a hedgehog uh, little animal. And I bought this on impulse because I was going to go like clubbing that night and I didn't have like a party bag. So I bought this just to put my card in it and like I was just going to carry my phone. But honestly, as a party bag, like I'm pretty sure you can still buy this at Furla. When you're like dancing with it, it still kind of like opens up again and then your stuff falls out. So... It was also not a very secure bag. Same with the Telfar. Like, I have a silver Telfar, which I bought this kind of also as a party bag, but I don't wear it if I'm dancing because my stuff will fall out. And I just feel like it's very unsafe, especially if you've, you know, had a few drinks. And it's just, you just don't want to have that problem. with Like, you need a really secure bag when you go out, guys. Like, a little camera bag or something. So I often wear my Armani uh, camera bag, which I've had for, like, seven years. It's just, like... <laughs> this random camera bag I have, but this I thought could be another alternative as like a little trash bag, but it just is not practical. So I've only used it once. I might wear it to dinner tonight because I'm going to get tacos tonight. So maybe I'll just wear this to out to dinner because it's kind of cute and 
you know, if you're at a tacos restaurant, you don't want to bring a nice bag. So maybe I'll just uh, wear this. But yeah, kind of regret buying this, even though it was like not too bad. The price, it was under 300 Australian dollars. Pretty sure it was like 200. I probably did not need this. It just is a bit of a useless bag. So that's the next one I bought. I also bought a vintage bag from Vestiaire Collective. It's an Hermes bag called the Pelonia. And I bought it because it was an absolute bargain. It was a white bag and I really want to get a white bag. Uh, the condition is not the best. So I actually took it to the Hermes bag spa to get restored. And it's still at the Hermes bag spa. So stay tuned guys for that reveal of what that's going to look like. But it was an absolute steal, like under a thousand dollars, like pretty sure it was like under 800 it was just yeah I'm really excited about how that will turn out because if that turns out well guys like I'm honestly low-key tempted to buy more vintage bags and get them restored because I think it's so cool that Hermes offer that service I think it's going to be around $400 to get it restored but still totally worth it I think for an Hermes piece and it's a piece that comes from the 60s I just think it's like a little like it's like a little piece of history I bought quite a few Loewe bags. So I bought a bunny bag, which um, was super duper cute, but I recently sold it because I literally, it was sitting on my shelf for like a month. I just didn't know how to wear it. And it was just, again, it was similar to this, just like, it was definitely more secure than this, but the shape of it was just not that user friendly. You just had to kind of like maneuver your stuff. Like it's just, I need bags that I can just grab and go like, like this, like, just chuck my stuff in and go like I don't need anything too yeah it was just it was just too much like I just couldn't reach for it even though it was adorable I don't know it just it wasn't for me so I I did love it it was really cute but I ended up letting it go and I'm so happy one of my subscribers bought it so I hope you're enjoying it because it is it is honestly such a cute bag but it just didn't work out for me so I bought this Loewe elephant bag from one of my close friends he sold it to me for an absolute deal. Since I was buying a few Loewe bags at the time, I kind of was like, oh, yes, I'll buy it. And again, I have only worn this one time. Like, I don't know. This one actually is a little bit easier to use than the um, bunny because just the shape of it, it's a little bit more like a camera bag. Actually, maybe I could wear this today. This is really cute, actually. This actually could be not as bad as a clubbing bag either. Oh my gosh, yeah, because just the way that this is, it's like straighter, whereas the bunny, the zipper is a little bit, like the shape of the bag is a bit more awkward, but this is quite cute, but maybe I haven't been wearing it because of the colour. I'm not, I don't know guys, like I do like colours, but yellow is just like not my favourite colour. I don't like, it's probably my least favourite colour for some reason, maybe I have to just like learn how to wear it more, but yeah, I don't know, I just, it's probably the colour and then... Yeah, I don't know. I'm more into Hermes bags, so that's why. But I should really wear this because it is really cute. Bought a Calcifer Luna bag from Loewe as well from the Howl's Moving Castle collection. Super cute bag. Um, it was in satin calf skin. I found after wearing it like one time, the stitches started to pop on it, which was pretty bad because I just don't even know how that was happening. Like on the flame the stitches were coming undone and the bag it did have like glue residue all over it it was like the the satin calfskin it's just not my favorite leather guys because I have a lot of smooth leather bags and I understand that bag scratch but this was just like the texture of it I just really don't like that leather and I've noticed Loewe have in their like newer season bags they don't use as much satin calfskin so honestly I would not recommend satin calfskin myself, but I ended up returning that bag because it was kind of defective. Like, I only wore it one time and the stitches were popping, so I was a little bit disappointed. And upon looking at other Luna bags in the boutique, um, they just, they looked a lot more, like, better crafted than the one I got. Like, the one I got just, it didn't close properly, like, it had glue on it. It just felt very rushed the way it was made and maybe they did make them really fast to churn out that How's Moving Castle collection because you know all the Studio Ghibli collections are always very highly anticipated and I think they probably just overproduced too fast because a lot of those bags were kind of like a bit iffy so yeah um I ended up returning that but it was really cool it was a very photogenic bag I also bought a Heen pouch which was also super cute but I also didn't love the strap on it and it was also a bag that I had that I knew it would just sit there and I probably wouldn't wear it and I found that the top of the bag when I put my stuff inside 
stuff could just fall out again which really annoyed me so I actually find that I reach for my A-line bag more even though it's open when you wear it it actually like shuts the way it is it just it's not like an open just it's not like just wearing like an open thing that things can just fall out like it actually things don't just fly out of it kind of thing just the way that the bag is constructed but that one like honestly like lip gloss was just flying out of it I wore it one time and I was just like oh this is really annoying to wear but I sold it to one of my subbies so hope you're enjoying that bag as well it I it was like a really good price so that's pretty much why I bought it because it was a really good price for a cute little collectible I also sold my Lueve puzzle bag this year from the Spirited Away collection. I sold my Sac de Jour from Saint Laurent. I sold my Sac de Jour because I wasn't reaching for it as much and I bought my Mini Lindy this year. Um, that brings me to my next bag. I got uh, a Mini Lindy when I went to Sydney. I love it guys. It is so cute. Like I love the leather. Um, I love how it looks like a little cat. I dressed it up recently with uh, a few accessories but I don't know this really goes but I'm just wearing it like this for now I just love the black and palladium combination it literally goes with everything if I'm wearing like a biker jacket a puffer jacket like like what I'm wearing right now it's just such a versatile bag it shuts like it's secure it's comfortable it's just it's so good and you know I did go crazy with the bag so I tried to like do some damage control so I sold my sac de jour Similar thing, like, I wasn't wearing it because it's like a box, it's like wearing a box, and I feel like my stuff is falling out every time I wear it. I, I'm aware I could just put my stuff in pouches, but, I don't know, I, it was, it honestly wasn't that bad a bag, it's just that I'd bought a lot of other bags this year that I liked more, so I thought, ah, better let some go, and I don't like having too much stuff, like, even I sold a lot of contemporary bags this year, like my beaded bags, and just random other things that, even contemporary bags that I was looking at, like, there were a few JW Anderson's bags that I was looking at that went on sale, but I didn't buy them because I just don't want to have too many bags, because when you have, like, I mean, I do already have too many bags, but it gets to a point where I can't, like, manage the space anymore, and I just feel like I'm neglecting too many bags. Because at this point, with all the bags I have, I feel like I can't fully enjoy all of them because I, I have too many. I usually just focus in on, like, probably six or so of these bags. So, yeah, it, it's also, get, like, when I buy too many bags, I also just try and like let a few go just so I can enjoy my most recent purchases. So yeah, that's why I sold my sac de jour, but I'm really loving my mini Lindy. So I thought, you know, they're not really the same bag, but it's another black bag and I love it. And I sold my puzzle bag uh, to a subscriber. Um, it was a really cute bag, but similar thing. Uh, there was just like other bags that I was wanting to buy and I just thought, well, you gotta let something go if you want to buy something new. So that's what I did. And uh, yes, I just love my Mini Lindy. I would definitely recommend this bag if you are thinking about it, if you're into Hermes. It is bloody expensive. Like, I'm not gonna lie. But if you just want a few, like, cute little bags in your collection and instead of buying, like, four Louis Vuitton bags, just buy one of these guys. It's so cute. It's really durable. The leather is gorgeous. And... You know, after a few years, if you want to take it to the Hermes Bag Spa, I'm sure they can restore it and everything like that. So I bought this garden party. Honestly, guys, this is way too many bags in, like, five months. But I bought this garden party when I was on my holiday in Sydney. I went to a consignment called, store called Gia X, and they had this there, and I just fell in love with the colour. It's in uh, the colour Vert Armand, and... Oh my gosh, I would totally recommend the Garden Party as well. This is probably my most used bag this year. I just love the colour. It's just this gorgeous, like, it's a grey, but it's almost like a green grey. And the size of the bag, the, it's very lightweight, very easy to just get my stuff in and out of there. My stuff doesn't fall out. It's very low-key, kind of quiet, but also cute because I put cute charms on it. And this charm I actually bought from Mel Purse on Fleek. So um, check out her Instagram as well because she has like a Purse on Fleek closet page where she sells some of her like, I don't know, previous things she's bought or whatever, like little fashion-y things. So uh, she actually sold me this Pegasus and I just think this looks so cute on this bag. And I love these Twillies as well. So yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely obsessed with Hermes, guys. So I just love this bag. I would totally recommend the Garden Party. Um, yeah, this is in the Nagoda uh, country... Nagoda leather? I Nagon... 
Nagondola, though, I think it's called. Um, and it's very hearty. So definitely love that one. And we're almost done, guys. Not too many bags to go. I bought for fun from the Hermes Boutique this little baby bag. It was from the baby section. And my sales associates showed it to me because... They kind of know I'm into these stupid things. And they said, like, maybe you can wear this as a bag. And I was like, you know what? I think this is really cute. So I did buy it. And I put these stupid baby toys on it. So, yeah, I don't know. This is kind of just like a bag I wear when it's raining. Or I don't really know what to wear. Or, you know, it's similar. It's like a little trash bag I just put on. And I think it's cute and kind of stupid. But, yeah, would I recommend this bag? I don't think this is for everyone, guys. Like, honestly, it is just like a baby's bag. It's a bag for kids. So... But I just, I don't know, I just couldn't resist it. Something about it, I just loved it. It also comes in pink. I think it's called the Sacre Coeur Circus Bag. So I think you can still buy it on the Hermes website or you can probably get it from your local boutique. So that's that. I also bought a Bridabrac case, uh, which is not a bag. It's more of a cosmetics case, but I have been wearing it as a bag. It's not the easiest to get your stuff in and out, but... Um, it's not too bad either like I usually just snap it like this and you know go it's pretty like low-key I like the way it looks with a little twilly on it um, and even if it's like yeah again if it's like raining or something I'll probably just take this little bag and like scoop it under my arm um, and I have been wearing it just when I'm like sporty or you know I just don't know what to wear I just grab this and it's very like low-key like whatever kind of bag so yeah I think that's why I have been wearing my Telfar bags because I think like when I don't care, I usually just want to like grab like a contemporary brand, but I actually still grab my Hermes bag. So yeah, that's that. I have been grabbing for these quite a lot. I don't know why. It's just, it's kind of weird. I think I'm just obsessed with Hermes. So, and then final, final bags. Here we go, guys. So I bought this bag from uh, Luke's It Forward. Uh, this is my trim bag. Definitely one of my most complimented bags so far, like randomly to my surprise, but I think it's pretty on trend, the hobo bag style. A lot of brands are doing hobos at the moment. A Clara just got a really cool hobo bag from Celine. I'll link her below. And Loewe has this new um, hammock hobo bag, which is really, really popular at the moment. Uh, so a lot of brands are doing these hobo styles. And even this season, Hermes are doing a few more new Hermes uh, hobos. And I just noticed they were trending and I noticed this on Luke's It Forward for like a thousand three hundred dollars and I was just like oh my gosh absolute bargain and I just checked on out as soon as I saw it and I was a bit unsure about the size but upon buying it I'm actually obsessed with the size I'm like oh my gosh I'm converted to big bags so like honestly yes I would recommend uh the trim 35 yeah this is a trim 35 by the way I don't know if I said that um and I actually picked up um from a, a seller uh this Olga bag charm as well to decorate it and I think that gives it a little bit of flair um it's not the easiest to open and close I usually just keep this part open and then I even just keep this open sometimes and again it's just like an easy chuck my stuff in and like go it's just very easy day to day such a good bag guys like and the leather is just amazing it's this beautiful togo leather I think the colour might be Gris Tortorelle, but I'm not sure. So that's that. Honestly, this feels like a bag collection video, guys, but this is just, like, what I bought recently. Two bags left. So final two bags were my Believe bag. This I picked up from Vestiaire. I was eyeing it for quite some time, and I was just watching it and seeing the price kind of, like, go down for a while. Um, again, it's a big bag. It's the 35 size. Um, it's in the colour e -toupe, and I picked it up for about like 4000 Australian dollars, so not too bad. Um, it's in really amazing condition. I think it's from around 2012 or so. It's like 10 years old, but I still think it looks amazing. It's designed to slouch like this, so it came with the strap as well. And I picked this Twilly up recently, which I think I've got so many compliments on this Twilly, but it looks really awesome with the bag. So I've been wearing it with this uh, rose a rose fringe twilly which i think looks really cool on it i just have another pink twilly on the back of it as well but yeah this is a really cool bag again it's like very easy to wear the color is super neutral the rainbow twilly is a bit extra on it honestly probably doesn't go with all my outfits but i would wear it like this anyway because i just don't care if i match sometimes i don't know guys sometimes i look like a bit of a fashion victim but 
I just like wearing what I like wearing and I'll just smack everything together and just whatever. I just, if I like the jumper I'm wearing and the bag and they don't go together, I'll just wear it anyway sometimes. So yeah, I just think that is so cute. So I love this bag and yes. The final bag is my most recent bag that I revealed, which is my Picotin 18 in Morph Sylvester. This is the Lucky Daisy print. I wore it yesterday. I loved it. I was just obsessed with the color. It, again, this color doesn't go with everything. It definitely goes with like browns, gray, like cream. This, I feel like it's a bit clashy, but yeah, it doesn't go with everything, but it's really cute. When it goes, it looks adorable. It's like a little cupcake. I bought this from the Hermes Boutique recently. Uh, so yeah, it's got little daisies all over it and I've decked it out with my buddy charm if you want to find out more about this bag I recently did an unboxing so you can hear me blabbing on about it there but yeah anyways guys um I don't regret any of the Hermes bags I bought this year honestly I've been obsessed with all of them but I do kind of regret the Loewe bags I bought and low-key kind of the Telfar bag and the Hedgehog so yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stick to Hermes from now on, guys. I don't think there's much more I really want to buy apart from, I don't know, I'm tossing up between a few bags and, you know, to be honest, I don't want to add too many more bags because I don't like my wardrobe being too over cluttered and I don't like feeling like I'm neglecting other bags. Like, I haven't worn my Veru bag in such a long time because I've just been reaching for these bigger bags, but I'm keeping it because it's just like a cute little evening bag. So, I don't know, I haven't worn that in a while, but it's just such a beautiful bag. So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to buy too many bags because I really don't want to let go of too many more because I really love all the bags I have at the moment, but I'll keep you guys updated. Yeah, thanks for watching my video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!